There's no getting around the fact that Flipnik is an incredibly strange game, and one that sits in a niche so narrow that it meant it was easily overlooked at the time of its release. The strange animation that plays as the game loads up should be your first clue that this is something different. Different good or different bad depends on how you personally feel about pinball, the digital re recreation of it, and how patient you are. You see, purists of real pinball machines are more often than not likely to turn their noses up at video games that attempt to do justice to their favourite pastime, at least up until recently where Pinball Arcade has come along to challenge those notions. Likewise, a good deal of video gamers probably don't want pinball coming anywhere near their precious entertainment. The number of people who straddle the middle group who appreciate both as valid forms of electronic excitement is quite small. It, it is these people who will get the most out of Flipnik. The first table is the one that most resembles a real pinball machine, replete as it is with familiar elements like pop bumpers, drop targets and ramps. It is comprised of a dozen or so unconnected screens, each of which feature some kind of mode such as multiball or having to knock down specific targets. Flippers are of course a given, and are present in all tables except for the last set, which choose to use a paddle much like the one found in games like Breakout and Arkanoid as the method for you to keep the ball in play. It's challenging to say the least. In fact, the entire game is quite high on challenge. Even though it is actually quite hard to completely lose your ball on the first stage due to there only being one out hole on the bottom screen, the things you have to trigger to fully unlock the next stage are not easy and will take a fair amount of time, luck and skill to overcome. Thankfully, even when you get a game over, if you save your progress to a memory card, you won't have to beat what I call the core challenges again. These are the ones in red on the progress screen that have to be defeated in order to fully unlock the next stage. Even if you haven't unlocked them, the game is kind enough to let you play the other stages on a trial basis for 5 minutes and one continue. This is a nice touch when you lose your temper with a particular challenge, you will, and need to do something else for a while. Later tables grow increasingly wacky in their design and each has their own visual style. The music that goes with each one is quite nice and funky in places. As for value, Flipnik contains a ton of things to keep you occupied. There are four different table styles and four separate levels within each one. As you gradually progress through, fully unlocking the later ones, you will also gain access to mini-games such as football and basketball, which can be played in two-player mode. Speaking of which, the main game has a two-player option as well, though I have not had the chance to try it out yet, sadly. Overall, if you enjoy digital pinball, or just want a game that's a little different from the norm for that matter, then Flipnik is a very worthwhile purchase. Looking at eBay, it would appear that the game goes for around £15 in the UK and $20 in the US, though it can be found for less if you're patient. I would say this is a fair price for the game, and if you're tempted I would recommend adding to your collection now before the game becomes any rarer and the price increases. With Pinball itself enjoying something of a renaissance at the moment, the number of people interested in classic games like this one will only be on the rise. There have actually been quite a decent amount of pinball games that make use of the video game medium to offer something that can't be done on a physical table, and more often than not the results are positive. My personal favourite has always been Pinball Revenge of the Gator on the Game Boy, but those seeking this type of game should also check out the following. Kirby's Pinball Land and Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy, Alien Crush, Devil Crash and Jackie Crush for the PC Engine, Pinball of the Dead for the Game Boy Advance, Adventure Pinball for the PC, and Metroid Prime Pinball for the DS. There are more than these out there, but these should keep you happy for quite some time.